Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and today, guys, we are going to take a look at the Lenovo Flex 3 laptop. So let's get started. All right, guys, so let's get down to the specifications on this particular laptop. So this model comes with a fifth generation Intel i5 processor. Uh, speed on the processor is only 2.20 gigahertz, which is not that bad. Operating system that it comes is Windows 8.164 bit, but pretty soon Windows 10. So I can't wait to see how that runs on this machine. For the graphics processor, it comes with an Intel HD 55 series graphics processor. Memory, eight gigs of RAM. Now the display size is only 15.6 inches with a full HD LED anti-glare multi-touch uh, display. Resolution on this particular machine is 1920 by 1080 giving us a full HD of 1080p. The hard drive space is only one terabyte, 5400 RPM. So let's take a look and see the ports and features of this particular laptop. All right guys, so on one side of the laptop, if you're facing a laptop where you need to open the lid up, on the left hand side this is where you put your lock mechanism to lock down the laptop we have our power ports this is where you insert your power adapter we have a standard 2.0 usb uh, our sd card reader our hybrid i love calling these hybrids because this allows you to plug in your headphone as well as a mic system and this right here is our volume control your uh, volume up volume down Okay, on the other side, we have an HDMI port. Uh, this is pretty strange. I haven't seen this for a while. Uh, we actually have an RJ45 or Ethernet port. We have two uh, 3.0 USB, but only one of them is a on-to-go power uh, port. Right here is our power button. So it's not a standard power button that's on top of the keyboard. And this little guy right here, this little light indicator is your HD indicator. All right, guys, so my favorite part of these reviews with you guys is the benchmarking. Now, on the Lenovo Flex 3 15-inch model, we I, I kind of ran a 3D mark as well as a Geek Bench uh, benchmarking tool. First on the bat is the 3D mark. As you can see, for the Fire Strike uh, testing, which is a high-performance gaming PC, it gave it a score of 148. This is not qualified for a good gaming system. Uh, I gave it 2,452 for the Skydiver, uh, which is a gaming laptop and mid-range PC, really low. Uh, you, you are able to play Microsoft games, real low-level games, but to play like Black Ops or Modern Warfare on this, it's not going to work. Uh, a basic notebook and home PC only gave it 4,489. And for a low-cost smartphone and tablet, again, because of the horsepower, uh, the, the i5 processor, the memory, and the one terabyte hard drive, it, that's why I gave it about a 15,000 score. And with our Geekbench tool, I ran a 64-bit uh, benchmarking, and the single-core score is only 2,643, and the multi-core score is 5,241, which is pretty good. It's a decent laptop. I, I, it, it's not great for gaming, but it, you could do a lot with it. All right, guys, so another part of the video reviews that I love doing with you guys, and that is the battery chart testing. So as you can see on the charts, I took the machine out of the box and it only had 95%, and that was around 10.57 a.m. in the morning, and I used it, you know, I used it like a regular person, surfing the internet, watching videos, I was installing an application, I was running the benchmark stuff, without without even the charging adapter and it took about two hours and 31 minutes for a complete shutdown and that was around 1 28 p.m now charging time was a little faster and uh, again the charging time i started around 10 19 the next morning and it took about an hour and 26 minutes to get a full 100 percent which is that's pretty good all right, guys, so my conclusion, my two cents on this Lenovo Flex 3 laptop. Hmm. Out of a five-star rating, I would give it three and a half. Why I give it three and a half? One, uh, the battery time, uh, it's not there. I, I would expect such a huge laptop, the battery would last me up between four and a half to maybe five and a half hours. But it didn't. It only gave me three hours. That's not great. 
it's it's a little heavy. It's a little bit heavy, and uh, it's it's not great for traveling. I don't recommend using this for traveling. This is a laptop that you would keep it in place, hooked up to your power uh, to the power adapter, and just use it as is. Uh, I'm a little confused of why it has the three or four different modes. You could do the flat. You could do the you know the tent. Uh, it's touch screen, which, you know, my thing is this laptop is too big to be used as a tablet laptop. I'm so used to a lot of the Lenovo and other laptops using solid state drive. When I received this, uh, laptop and I started it up and I started messing around with the applications, installing and stuff. It just, it was a little hesitant. Why? Because it did not come on a solid state drive. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, there are better models than the i5 core. You could get an i7 core processor with a one terabyte hard drive and an eight gig solid state drive. Now the eight gig solid state drive from my understanding would be your operating system, which would be extremely fast, which is awesome. Now this particular laptop only comes with a one terabyte hard drive, 5,400 RPMs. And I felt it. I felt that little sluggish. I was, I'm, I'm a little bit um, spoiled using solid state drives nowadays with these laptops. Um, Again, this laptop is great for a workstation. Just put it on your desktop, plug in the adapter, hook it up to the wireless, or hook it up hardwired with the Ethernet, and just use it as is. I don't find myself traveling and converting it to a tablet. This right here is it's too big. Who wants to carry this? Especially if you have kids and your kids want to watch a movie. Do you, do you really want to give them this huge thing to watch a movie? I don't think so. So that's the reason why I give it three and a half stars. Uh, for this model, the price range is between $599 to $699, and it goes a little higher the more specs and more power you want. But overall, guys, I give it three and a half stars. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom. There you go. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy up here. And I'll catch you guys on the next review. Peace out.